Augusta University had its first graduate of the newly created Masters of Arts in Intelligence and Security Studies program in Kim Toler. Master of Arts, Intelligence and Security Studies. Kimberly Toler. How does it feel that you just got done? You're the first to graduate this program. How does it feel? Uh, it feels very relaxing right now that I was able to get through. The program combines intelligence studies with strategic cybersecurity and classical security studies. It's actually a lot more broad than you might think. So there's the security part, um, which can entail you know, national security, homeland security, and then we have intelligence, which is more focused. Um, so you can go both ways, intel or security. It's very broad. And I sort of focus more on the cyber aspect. What we do is try to take the technical side of things and move it into the strategic sphere. So we like to help people understand future analysts, policymakers, military members, people that want to go and get a PhD. How do you apply everything you know at the technical level to the strategic level? So how does, for instance, cyber warfare play in through, to nation states? What does it mean? We know how Russia interferes with the United States' as elections, for instance. But what does that mean as a cause of war? How does something like that play out with kinetic attacks? What, do we, what can we look forward to in the future when it comes to that type of information warfare with kinetic operations on the ground? So we like to fill in the gaps that exist between the intelligence community with technical understanding versus the geopolitics of national security. I asked Kim with cyber being so important in this day and age, why the program was so important to have. When you think about high school, they don't really focus um, on careers when you're not in Augusta. And Augusta is really good at focusing on um, career paths, but when you step out of Augusta, no one really talks about intel or security. When you're in college, it's not really um, a field that you can go into. I mean, when you talk about national security, it's very important um, to, you know, the well-being of this country and for the people. And so I think learning about what national security entails and what you can do as a civilian, as a citizen to help um, protect this nation, I think that's very important. Well, this program is, you know, critical, I think, especially when you look at cybersecurity, because you know, Augusta is well known for its tactical or technical or operational cybersecurity, but we fill in the gaps for the strategic side. So what does all that mean when it comes to actually nation states fighting wars against each other? How do you fight back against a non-state actor like ISIS when they're fighting you in cyberspace? What are the strategic implications of that? So we put all the technical knowledge into a strategic understanding so you can fully understand how, for instance, information warfare what that means for the United States' national security strategy, and how do we compete with our strategic adversaries like Russia, North Korea, Iran, China in that realm. Toler previously attended Cornell University, where she received an undergraduate degree in industrial and labor relations. But her father worked in cyber when he was in the Army. I certainly dedicated you know, almost 28 years of my life to doing this, um, and so I'm certainly proud that my, my daughter is following my footsteps. I asked Kim if she had any suggestions for anybody else trying to get into this field. I would say just apply if you're even interested um, or look at the courses and see if you're interested in any of them. Um, you don't have to go necessarily into intelligence or you know into security. You can It builds up the skills for you to be an analyst, so if you just want to go into business as an analyst, it's a good program to build up those skills. Brandon Dawson, WJBF News Channel 6.